Alrighty, friends, welcome back. I am your host, Ramadi. Uh, today, we're going to have just a nice, short and sweet little video. Uh, it occurred to me that I have um, used a bud switch for a build, and um, I've never really done just a spotlight on bud switches. So we are um, going to go ahead and do that real quick. Right then, so um, a bud switch is a acronym that stands for block update switch. And what you do is you take a piston, and then you have a block that is diagonal to that piston, and we're going to go ahead and give it power, which you know natively is not going to do anything to the piston itself. Uh, and when there is no power to the block like it is now, uh, nothing happens. But when we go ahead and power it, and then place a block anywhere next to that piston, it's going to go ahead and update. Now, um, because we have power to that block, it has gone ahead and extended, and it will stay there until we remove power, just like that. And um, it's kind of a useful little thing. Um, this originally was a bug, and Mojang has... Um, publicly said they are not going to fix it, so it is um, going to stay around. And this is um, very useful for a number of different things. Um, I used it in an automated melon farm. Um, and um, really, there's just one bud switch that, um, since I have kind of made it, that I have always used. And it goes a little something like this, block on the ground repeater into that block and now we're going to have a series of torches so one torch two torch and the last torch is going to go here on top of the block like that and now um, from there two blocks out both of these are repeaters and now um, on the front of this a block right there so that it's off of the repeater like that and now uh, just for simplicity I'm gonna add a block here uh, and what that does is it allows us to place our piston and um, yeah now on the end of that piston what we want is a block of redstone like that and now um, to finish the circuit we are going to break this block right here as it is unnecessary and um, so that's pretty simple there you go um, bud switch done so now if we go anywhere on the piston so here would work fine and now it'll update again and if you remember from over here the key aspect was that we were powering and then you know unpowering the block that's diagonal to the piston so um, we've used torches here to turn a signal on to this block diagonal so anytime we update that piston it runs and now using the redstone block it inverts everything and now this block is turned off so this block update if we're um, not super fast continues to run which is kinda neat and we'll break it real fast yeah so um, anything on the piston here is what is going to run this thing and you know so far I've used a block or um, in the case of the melon farm it was a melon growing here and then being broken you know um, so what I'm gonna do real quick is I am going to go into survival mode and I am going to get a couple of um, unique blocks and show you how they can uh, be used as an update okay okay so um, we are in survival mode and we have set up a very crude <laughs> example of how these update switches can work. So basically what we are interested in uh, is any block that will update some sort, form, fashion. Um, and so I've just got a couple of my <laughs> very favorite examples here. Um, set up and I, I'm going to use this uh, furnace one here to show you um, a different 
a different way to update um, and I've used this one actually the last one I'll show you is my very favorite uh, so yeah uh, what we've got first off is a furnace and all we're gonna do is um, cook a piece of cobblestone and just the virtue of the furnace turning on has now updated the piston uh, and opened our door so that we can go ahead and walk through um, and then as the fire kind of dies down here when it turns off uh, it's going to automatically close and um, that's just kind of neat I think is that it's going to automatically close everything uh, so yeah you can use a, a, f a, f a furnace here um, I don't really want to wait on that forever but just um, trust me that as the furnace turns off it's going to go ahead and close the door um, so yeah there's um, that one we can use redstone ore so as we touch the redstone it um, lights up and it'll glow 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 for a little bit and um, that's also operated our door um, and we need to jump around here for just a minute as I think I, I cannot eat the cake um, unless I have some hunger. So uh, we're going to get some hunger here real fast and we are going to continue to watch both our redstone and um, our furnace. The furnace should be turning off here not too long. I think that redstone ore um, stays lit for like 48 seconds or something random. Um, like that so it shouldn't be too terribly bad um, of course you know these would be easy to hide um, as the block itself is on the front of the piston and you could really easily wall them in um, and they would work just fine that way let's take a look at our furnace uh, fire still not going down I think the redstone will probably go next let's see if we can eat our cake well we broke our cake uh, but it did the same thing. Uh, let's go get our cake back here and um, put it back up so it's gone ahead and closed our door now. Uh, we'll see if I can eat from the cake. Uh, I don't think it's going to work because I don't have any... Well, anyway, cake does it. It's uh, <laughs> a little bit of a hack. I think it's kind of fun to uh, stick a piece of cake on top of a piston and have it update. Um, kind of a silly little thing there. The um, the update, there we go, our redstone ore just turned off so it closed our door. Um, the um, one that I have used the most and the one that I really like is um, to place a block like that. And now if we go, um, I didn't get a torch, if I, if I just place any old thing on this block it um, it doesn't update anything but if I go ahead and I take a redstone torch then all of a sudden this acts as an update and um, this I, I really like and you can place and break a torch very quickly um, even in survival mode so you can do this and you can just kinda run the door one way and then go through uh, and use a, um, a T flip-flop to then uh, go ahead and run the door again uh, or, I mean, you could just butt it on the other side if you want or whatever you want. But um, this is the one that I have used the most when I've wanted to hide things. Um, and I think it's pretty handy. So, um, yeah, so that's uh, just our little spotlight, I think, on buds. Um, I've already talked, I think, too long. Um, we're going to look at our furnace one more time as it is finally starting, it looks like, to die down at least a little bit. We'll stay here for just a moment. Well, I'm bored already, so sorry, Furnace. Um, if and when it turns off, it will go ahead and close the door. So, so yeah, that's uh, Bud Switches. Just a quick little spotlight. These are super, super useful little things. Um, I really don't think you need... There's a, more than this. Um, there's tons of these Bud Switches out there. Um, they don't have to be built like that. Uh, I mean, there's lots and lots of these things. What I like about this one is it's one wide and it's tileable. You can build them right next to each other. There's no redstone dust involved in this. Um, so, um, yeah, that's the one I, I really like the best. So, so there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, as a little teaser for those of you who watch to the end of the video, because you're awesome and I appreciate that, um, Romedy is getting a new computer. It's going to be here very, very soon. 
and um, I have been waiting on that specifically um, to start making a bunch of videos with larger contraptions because I tend to lag um, too much, too much, too much, too much. Um, so you are going to see an increase in the video quality as soon um, as next week. So, yep, thanks for watching. Uh, I will uh, see you all then.